What's up guys, this is Bizarreto Lore and welcome back to another episode in Carl Franz's campaign. This is episode 7 and if you have been enjoying the series so far, please consider subscribing as it really helps me out. So uh, last episode we dealt with Festus and his army, we also liberated Middenstag and Krudenwald. By uh, liberating Krudenwald we revived Hawkland back and they have uh, 6 difficulty and we have accumulated a lot of prestige, uh, 2700 by fighting all those battles and we also we sieged uh, Broski and I'm building one battering ram and hopefully they're gonna rally out at the end turn. We're just gonna continue the siege. We have 611 coins in the bank. Let me see if I can do any diplomacy. Okay, nothing there. Alright, uh, Obsidian Blade. We have to carry out a successful assassination against Uzu. Uzu is in this army and he's an exalted hero. Famous Spite Taker. He doesn't have any good spells that can really damage our army that much. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, I believe we can... Let me just check everything else. Oh, we can move this guy a bit closer to Carl Franz's army. And Ludwig Hertwig is stationed in Helfgard in case Ron wants to invade um, our empire. For, okay, Fort Bergress is gonna upgrade in one turn. Helmgard is already upgraded to level 3. And it has a good garrison. These guys are doing fine. Uh, the Golden Order is also doing really good. Hopefully they're gonna destroy these uh, dwarves here. Vampire Counts. They're doing alright. Wood Elves. Yeah... They're not doing bad themselves. Azag is also doing okay. And all other lector counts are safe at the moment. Okay, these guys are building an army here. Okay, next turn, the garrison building here is gonna be finished and it's gonna add four units to the garrison in Gorsell. Alright, we can end this turn now. You dare approach me. Fight. Okay, Henrik Kemlar is declaring war at us. Okay, it's cool. It's cool. Doesn't really matter. I was gonna attack him anyways in a couple of turns. The moot petitions. Okay. Grant the halfling request. Vampire conflict. A plus ten leadership and fighting against vampire counts all armies. Or let them eat lots of cake. Leadership when fighting against humans. Nope, I'm gonna get this for now. Even though I'm probably not gonna fight any of the vampire counts. For the time being. Okay, green skins attack Elector, elector State, which is Taliban clan state. We're gonna definitely use some of our prestige. How are you nearby mercenaries? Okay, 1000 prestige. Um, we're gonna join the defense of. Kemperbat against Greenskins, and we're also gonna get one Filthy for Talabak Clan. And we're gonna get the Filthy of Talabak Clan to 10, which is probably gonna give us one Imperial Authority per 20 turns. Okay, hire new mercenaries. And okay, close victory and casualties medium. We don't really care about the casualties, we only care about winning this. Because if we actually fight this, our army is gonna join as reinforcements and they're gonna be joining the battle with delay one to two to three minutes of delay and by the time we arrive these guys have probably smashed these garrison uh, of this settlement okay, you know what we're just gonna resolve this battle let's see yeah easy win and we're also gonna get extra 1300 coins if we pardon the captives. Okay, army receives plague. Alright. 
it's this army we're not getting any attrition and they started getting attrition and they got the attrition uh, from last turn for some reason it was blocked and it wasn't showing that these guys are gonna take attrition all right so what we can do here is upgrade Gorset. Uh, okay hold on let me see let's upgrade Marienberg to level 3 and Blackstone post let's see how strong they are mm -hmm. the borough legion only have one settlement and they're one of the weakest factions they probably have an army somewhere here somewhere around here probably and yeah even if they had a big army here these guys would have been able to defend against them for a while and they wouldn't be able to uh, destroy the garrison of progress anyways yeah okay lord hasn't moved this turn doesn't matter let's see what other result would give us yeah it is still not good not good enough let's build another siege tower two siege towers right and hopefully we're gonna attack them next turn where we have one more siege tower or two turns from now and faction encountered the center lords of jinshen all right let's go to diplomacy we can get military access Welcome with Artois for 69 points. Okay. All right, let's get that. Defensive alliance, military alliance. Yes. Nope, we can't do anything. And Marienburg is building a big army here. 10 military presence. Is it 10 units or is it more? I don't really remember. Back in the day, it used to be two public order from my bad one public order per two units or one public order per one unit i don't remember uh doesn't matter lord has a move doesn't matter lord not moved can we no we cannot attack this seven because he's not that leveled up all right <clears throat> elector counts Calabacland has two elected accounts. Agreed. We have two. And yeah, everyone else has one. Who called? Thank God, Ostland. Is it called Ostland? Yes. Yeah, Ostland um, captured uh, the Caffin and we gained uh, one Imperial Authority because of that. As you can see, Elector Count reinstated. Very nice probably gonna get one Imperial Authority next turn where because Talabakland is 10 filthy they have 10 filthy and um, yeah with that 10 filthy we're gonna get one Imperial Authority every 20 turns right, we can end this turn now okay Confederation offered no, we're just gonna assert independence and gain that one imperial authority. Faction destroyed Akuthane. Alright, probably Grom's faction destroyed them. Okay. You know what we can do? Greyherd come. Okay, where are they? We can check that. Okay. We can probably move him here. And uh, recruit some units. Let's see what kind of units we have here. Six halberdiers. We probably um, are better off getting one mortar and one crossbowman. Let's go into encamp sense. Although it doesn't really matter. Um, okay. Yeah, we can attach this guy to. Ready to serve. You know what let's just combine and merge these units so yes, we can attach this guy Sigma into hammerheim's Sigma. army let's see yes we can 
auto resolve this battle, but we're gonna lose our halberdiers. So what we're gonna do is let's just scout the train here really quick. And I believe we're gonna fight this. Okay, this is a new city composition. I've never seen this before. Okay, let's just fight this. Alright, so we are definitely gonna put these two guys um, in the tree line here. So no one can shoot them. And we're gonna probably attack them from... Um, this section because in whole it only has one tower Wait, can we deploy here oh no we cannot okay let's just attack them from this section then. okay deploy them here deploy Carl here deploy Empire captain there we can just deploy them here so they deploy some of their units here so we can no wait hold on hold on let me just think about this put all these guys here put them there so what we can do is deploy a rice guard here so they commit some of their units to this area mortar um let's just put them there can they shoot no they cannot Put them here. All right, that's good. Let's just fight this now. We are Sigma okay, siege towers. Get in there. The Empire, Empire captain should go there. Sigma. Are they shooting us? Nope. Let's just For move everyone closer. Okay, they're shooting at them. Oh. Taking position. Get them over here. Get them over here. Okay, they're shooting at us. Come on. Get them out of there. And our guns are probably going to be useless. Okay, let's just shoot uh, the Marauder Horsemen. Okay, really nice. We're actually shoot them. For now. Before our uh, siege towers get up there. Prepare for combat! Okay, that's some really good damage. Let's buff for all friends. I speak Our archers should probably start shooting now. Come on, guys. Please start shooting. Okay, some of them have started shooting. Let's use the mortars. Move them a bit closer. Can I shoot, please? Uh, let's just move our gunners. To the front of the gate, so they will start shooting as soon as possible. Okay, let's just move these guys in, and the rest of our reinforcements are also gonna get here soon enough. Okay, let's just move these gunners in as well. You know what? Let's just move them up the walls. Use the ladders. Not the ladders, the siege towers to get up there. Okay. Let's just move this guy up here. We don't want to fight the beast of Nergo for now. Come on now. Probably can shoot the beast of Nurgle as soon as is in range. They're shooting at trolls. Nice. Uh, yeah. Let's just move them in. You guys can get over here as well. Mortars shoot into them. No, no, we're gonna do friendly fire. Let's just halt. Alright, alright. Okay, Carl is getting smashed. Wait, why can't we use this? We probably shouldn't be in... Combat, should we? I don't know. Let's get him out of there for a second. 
Wait, hold on. Why are we... Why can't we replenish though? Oh, probably it is one of the... Fecondite's uh, faction effects. I don't know, to be honest. No idea. Why it is like that. Okay. Okay, they're moving our, their units there. Come on, Hammerheim. Get your ass over here. Seeking enemy! Who's shooting us? No one, no one. Okay. For some reason, Carl has reached his cap for healing. I don't know why, but it's cool. Okay, move them out of there so we can move these guys in and shoot these trolls who has who have high armor. All right. Let's just go break these gates with our rice guard. Okay, this is one of the best settlements I have seen. Because... Look at this. They have one main point here and one main point here. Which we have to move through either here or these two bridges. Get over there. So basically what they can do, they can just commit whatever they have over these to this point and this point or just defend these bridges that's it they're gonna be good All right come on now shoot these dragon ogre shaggots come on for smash them so let's just use these guys okay get closer please Okay, Hammerheim, get over there. Okay, get Carl out of there. Come on, come on, get him out of there. Okay, let's just put these guys at the range of this tower. You guys, get out of there, please. We can use our great source to attack these guys for now. Let's just keep Carl there. And you're breaking this gate down so we can go capture their points. Okay, let's just move them in. Okay, he's getting attacked by those towers. Amrheim, move in. Pop in that damage resistance and on. Also, the melee attack buff and debuff for enemies, and this. You know what? Let's just use this one for the physical resistance. Do they? They only do physical attack, and they're not doing jack shit. Okay. Okay, mortar can now shoot into these guys. On. Our Empire Captain is getting smashed. Alright, we probably should use this guy to come up this siege tower. Come on, Carl. Just come here and buff Hammerheim. Okay. They have destroyed the gate there. Okay, our Emperor Cabin is getting smashed. Get him out of there. Come on. Okay, use these guys to just put them here and let them shoot them. Move them back. Hammerheim, you should get out of there probably. Okay. Put them in the formation where they can shoot a bit more effectively. Move uh, these spearmen in so they can attack these guys. Okay, debuff them. Their car is getting smashed. Not really. We're gonna be okay. 
Just shoot these guys with the mortar. Bro, go kill him. Go kill this exalted hero. Oh. Yeah, we can kill them easily. Okay, fuck everyone, Franz. Come on, smash this guy. The Battle Brothers. Kill this guy. Kill Uzu. Okay, they are... They are fleeing. Very nice. These archers were really effective. Okay. Move them in. Move them off the walls. There's a rice guard. Oh yeah, they routed them. Basically killed most of them. They didn't even need to route them. Alright, let's just capture this point. Where is Carl? Did they kill Uzu? No, they haven't killed him yet. Come on. Kill him. Wait, hold on. This is Hammerheim. Let's use this guy. Kill him, come on. Kill Uzu. Because we're gonna get some extra points out of that. If I'm not mistaken. Let's just go kill this beast of Nurgle. Okay, let's just move them forward. Alright, guys, you probably can move in. Move in now. Okay, let's just use them in a way that it is not as bad as that. Okay, let's just move them in here. What is happening with Carl? Come on. Where are you, bro? Okay, he is stuck somber. He okay, got out of there. Nice. Uh, let's just keep him here. We're capturing that. Oh, let's go kill them. Come on, come on, come on. Just, just go kill them. Let's just go capture this. Okay, use that on them as well. Yes, please. Alright, what are these guys doing? Come on, get over here. Mortar, you can stop moving. We don't need you to do anything. Oh, 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 shoot. Okay, let's just... Can we withdraw them? No, we cannot. Oh, shoot. Okay, get them out of there. Come on, come on. Get them out of there. Probably cannot deal with all of them at the same time. Let's just go capture this point. Or, actually, let's just come here and capture this point. Alright. Put everyone in here. Just come capture this. Come on, move everyone in. And we can use these guys to shoot them. Come on, come on. Just go kill him. Use Coral to fight this guy. Come on, guys. Let's just buff our rice guard. Okay, let's just kill these warhounds and we're gonna deal with them with Hammerheim. Alright, alright. Really nice. Come on, come here and kill this guy, please. Uh, buff everyone. If we kill this guy, I believe we can finish this ASAP. Oh. Okay, this guy. Let's go kill him. Oh, let's just shoot that guy. Okay, we just captured that point. Let's come here and capture this point. Okay, how is Hammerheim doing? Okay, Armagosis has been activated. Nice. Okay, we cannot heal anyone. Let's just... We don't need to kill anyone. To be honest. All of them are gonna get wiped out anyways. Let's just kill him. Yeah, we killed him. And as soon as that beast of Nurgle get broken, we have won this. And we just won. Very nice. A very good battle. And 
yeah, we can end this. And for some reason, the healing cap of Carl Franz was bugged from the beginning of this battle, or it was one of the fecundite's abilities that didn't have any uh, healing cap in this battle. I do not know. Okay, we can probably end this battle. Let's go. Okay, close victory, and we did that with 295 casualties. We gained 2,633 coins and almost 7,000 experience for Carl. And no one got wiped out. Very nice. So, we probably should sack this and then occupy it. The next turn. With this army. For the Emperor! Not the next turn, the same turn. And the Fecondites have been destroyed, so no more Festus. And Plague. Vigor in battle, tired, and Nurgle corruption plus two. Infection, yeah. This Nurgle faction has been destroyed. Why though? We killed this guy. Oh, we had to um, assassinate him. Alright, whatever. We gained Sapper, leadership, plus three when Link Seizure encircling for the Lord's army. And we got Chaos Breaker for Hammerheim. Leadership plus five when fighting against Warriors of Chaos and Demons of Chaos for Lord's army. We also got Kidnapper because we ran some captives after battles multiple times with Carl's army. So plus five percent income from post battle loot. Very nice. We also got Talisman of Endurance. We unlocked this Regiment of Renown Hammer of the Witches, which is a great cannon. And also Templehof Luminarch, which is the version of Luminarch of Hish. Okay, this guy got Barded Horse. And we have secured this province, which we should probably build a growth building and repair this. Right now we have 13,720 Ready. points. You know what I want to do? I want to let this man one of these guys. And can we recruit... Oh my god, yes sir, we can recruit one borderman here. This unit is very useful. I am friends. Very useful indeed. They will obey. Mm -hmm. Sharpshooter, nope, we don't Bring need that yet. We can invest one point in Deadly Blade for six extra melee attack. Then we can get Full Seeker next time we level up. Let's get Blade Master for five extra melee attack. And let's get that melee defense up. Two points invested into Hard to Hit for that extra seven melee defense. Hammerheim can also. Invest one skill point, which we should probably get a uh, sacred veteran for extra 7% hit points. We can also put two points in our warrior priest, Eckhart Fisher. Let's just invest one point in replenishment troops and one point in safeguard. Also, we can research another technology. So we are better off researching, so is this really useful for now? Not yet, because we only have one mortar, or maybe two. Okay, improved heavy weapons. We're gonna get extra 10% weapon strength for infantry units. I think this is the most useful one out of all these. Or I can get this one instead, or even this one. 10% from settlement buildings. Yeah, we're just gonna research this for the time being. Because our economy is already doing kinda well. Not the best, but not the worst either. We can upgrade the Black Pit uh, main settlement building into level 2. And we definitely gonna do that. All store. Oil Heart Week. What can be built here? Alright, so we can build, we can build this here, 
for that extra hero capacity. But for the time being, I'm not going to risk that. You know why? Because we have uh, Mary Merc to deal with. We have the these guys to deal with. I forgot their names. Scalings? Yep, Scalings and Bellacor. Have we met him yet? We have met Bellacor, but we haven't gone to war with him just yet. I'm probably going to jinx it. It's going to declare war at us next turn. Or the next two or three turns. Alright, I'm gonna upgrade this to level 2. For that extra growth. And we can build this whenever Altdorf up got upgraded to level 4. So we can start recruiting battle wizards. Alright. We can upgrade this as well. Or, or not. I don't know. But we're definitely going to want to upgrade um, our forgers to level 4. So we can start recruiting um, Hellsor rocket batteries. Alright. Commandments. Let's get... Um, do we need the corruption? Not really. It's okay. The plague is going to wear off in... How many turns? I have no idea. Three turns. Alright. Let's just get this. Get the growth. Let's see if we can do any diplomacy. Uh, nope. Nope, we cannot. Alright. It's alright. Um, recruit Witch Hunter. Yeah, whatever. Galmaraz. Okay, Galmaraz is really useful. Comet. Dragon Tooth. The nation calls. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lockstone. Let's get talisman of endurance on coral. Let's give the lockstone to our empire captain Ubu Bayer. Uh, Tormentor sword. Let's give it to Eckert Fisher. Book of the show. Should give that to one of our battle wizards, which we gonna recruit in couple of turns probably let's see can we give these two to anyone not really all right i believe we can end this turn we have negative one imperial authority and yeah we're doing really good that's amazing okay we can end this turn now all right under more sleeps glare um we can definitely improve the omens because we have almost 12,000 coins in our treasury or we can risk most sleeves wrath. We're just going to improve the omens and get that extra leadership for 5 turns. Roads to the Renowned. We have 2,655 prestige so we're definitely going to contact trusted officials and get that extra imperial authority. Get that to here. Or no, let we're gonna get that to here. All right. No, it's gonna stay there. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Yeah. In exchange for one thousand prestige, we're gonna get one imperial authority. We gain constructor on Carl, which is a good trait, and we gained a border warhorse on Fisher. So. I live to serve um, the Emperor. All right. Let's just give him. Impassion for that extra three melee defense. Oh, 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 okay. I misclicked for a second. So, what do I want to do from here? We can go to Kislev is doing okay and help it got captured by these guys, the Gromedny tribe. All right, so we can come. Uh, to our west and try to defeat Grom because the vampire counts haven't really been that aggressive and these guys are friendly toward um, Sterland and Talabakland but they are at war with um, Ostland alright choices choices 
you're probably better off coming down here and dealing with Grom's faction and also uh, the Borough Legion. Alright, let's just move Carl toward As is my right, by right land. I will. Okay, we can. Can we build anything anywhere? Nope, we cannot. Alright. We have met before. Okay, Corone is also at war with uh, the Boro Legion, so hopefully they can deal with them for the us. The and they are also at war with uh, Grom's faction. All right. Sigmarite Archlector. Gonna keep recruiting some more uh, crossbowmen, so we can exchange them with these archers and give them to Carl's army so for the time being we can just keep him here so he get that public order up and also that uh, corruption down yeah negative three because of local armies all right good very nice building upgrade available grung zint okay that's gonna evolve in two turns Ever vigilant. I'm probably gonna move I serve Sigma. him closer I serve the to here. So this is still my journey begins. Wait, actually, let's just. Do we need to? Let's see if we can get Honor here in one turn. Yeah, we can get there in one turn. Protector so let's just recruit two week. more crosswomen. And if we needed to, we can just recruit one regiment of renown. Like him to hold the line for these guys sh to shoot whatever enemy appears here. Which is probably gonna be vampire counts. Which is gonna be really easy to deal with. Let's just check uh, our settlement to see if we can upgrade anything or not. Yeah, we don't need to upgrade anything. We have to uh, save our money. So next turn we can build this. All right. Diplomacy, quick deal. Sure. Yes. Can we do anything? Yes. yes let's get Come that. Then. Only Sigma's Wait, God. Can we only do anything can else? Though? No. no. Right. Let's just get that military access. I am the blood. Hot. We are uh, 0 0.4 away from getting uh, military access with Corone. All right. Mark. We already. No, we do not have a trade agreement with Corone. That's weird. Will. Negative eight. Why? We probably have to accumulate some more um, resources so we can trade with Corone. Next. All right. Our imperial authority is at zero. Very good. And they are doing fine for the time being. Okay. They captured Castle Alexandrinov back. And this is Azazel's faction, right? Probably. How is he doing? Have we encountered him yet? Not yet. Not yet. It's alright. We're gonna encounter him a couple of turns. Probably. Yeah, we can end this turn now. The gods are angry. Okay, we're probably gonna get uh, so be it, the angry gods option for that extra 20 growth. Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna get negative three control for our, our provinces, but it's alright. Because this one was gonna rebel anyways. And we can move them into Grong Zint. Move Carl back to Reichland. And we can get Altdorf Conclave of Battle Wizards for one garrison. Yeah, one wizard in our garrison, one extra capacity, and recruitment of battle wizards. Alright. Can we build anything else though? Yeah, this is... You're not gonna build that. In here at least. This is cool. But, nope, I'm not gonna... <laughs> spend 8,000 coins on this. It's not worth it for sure. We're gonna get this instead. 
we can definitely um, no this is doing okay this is all right okay this is active so negative three from that we can either build this for some extra income from all buildings plus eight percent okay plus eight percent of three thousand three hundred it's gonna be what mm, 80 almost 250 which is cool I serve Sigma. we can move him Ever to vigilant. probably they're doing fine here so he can go and deal with um, Marienburg oh my god negative 16 holy we we'll probably need to go back now we're just gonna move there we're still gonna um, suffer casualties negative 21 it's gonna rebel in 20 I'm sorry, six turns. Let's just not get taxes. It's gonna rebel in seven turns. So next turn, we're gonna upgrade this level two. And it's gonna give us nothing really, okay. Or we, we can just build this for extra four control. Okay, he's not getting attrition anymore. And next turn, he can start replenishing. Now we can recruit an Empire Captain or a Warrior Priest. Cunning is good. Empire Captain Confident is really good. Or we can get Cunning on him as well. Um, Alright, let's check Diplomacy. What? King Louis armored in faith. Atua. Do we want to get that military def defensive alliance with them? Not really. Not try they're a weak faction. The yeah, they are the weakest faction around us. We don't want to get anything with them. At least in terms of um, alliances. You know what? Let's just put him out of the settlement so the settlements would rebel. And let's just end this turn. Be at peace. Well, that is all I ever okay, want. Ottawa probably wants a defensive alliance. No, sir. Thank you very much. Rebellion in Northern Grey Mountains, which is Skull Smashers. All right. Razor Sack is settlement belonging to any of the following enemies of Ostland. Enemies of Ostland. Let's just see. Valiant Ostland Lord. is at war with. Uh, what am I doing? Who Get out of quick deals. The Empire. Sorrel. Scatic Legions and Royal Grove of Vo. All right, we can get this guy over here, and can we defend against them? We probably can. What about these? Okay, they're gonna join us. Let's just fight them. Um, let's just fight this battle. Why not? Yeah, let's do that. All right, so they only have goblins, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, look at them, only goblins. All right, uh, we're gonna deploy our units here. So you guys go there, you guys come here. So I'm deploying my units in a way that these two guys can. You know what, let's just move back a bit. So, when our reinforcements arrive, we can just use them as meat shield and basically, yeah, not get any casualties on our units on this army. Okay, can our mortar get here in time though? Yes, they can. Yeah, they only have gobbles. All right. All right. Come on. Come on. Uh, reinforcement is gonna be here in five seconds. All right. Nice. 
Yeah, let's get everyone up front here. And put these guys here. Yeah, let's just put them there. What are you doing? Come on, what is happening? Alright, good. Okay, let's just use these guys to slow them down. Just put them here. Alright. Yeah, let's just attack them. Come on, come on. Alright, yes, they're getting distracted. Very nice. Well, let's just deploy them here. Ready for orders. The Empire endures. Yeah, deploy everyone there. Move them in. Okay, move him in there so he can buff every one of our units. Okay, let's see how much damage this bombardment does. Oh yes! Amazing stuff. 6,000 damage and 55 kills. This is moving back a bit. And yeah, attack them. Everyone. We should attack this guy. Our mortar can attack them. Alright, alright. So we shouldn't get that much damage on him. Let's just move him back. We don't need to use him there. To fight. Okay, they're shooting him. They're smashing him. Very nice. Okay, let's just use this guy to just buff them a bit. So they don't get broken. They okay, use every one of our crossbowmen to shoot this guy. Okay, now you can come here and try to kill this poor poor boss. Okay, let's shoot the goblin archers with them. Okay, this guy is gonna break in a second. Okay, one of the crosswomen of the garrison. The only crosswoman of the garrison has routed. Mortar, you can stop shooting. Everyone, shoot this guy. Come on. And army loss has been activated, has it? Yes, it has. Let's just kill this guy and his dead. Let's just kill as much of them as we can. Alright, go there, use that. Very nice. Activate all those, and we can end this battle. Okay, decisive victory, and we only lost 192 men, which were mostly the units of uh, Grong Zin's garrison. Alright, we can. We got 1600 experience for Ludwig Hartwig, and 704 coins, plus we can pardon captives. Basically means 1000 extra coins. And we can fight them again. Should we? Yeah, let's just go smash them. Yeah, we can order this easy. And they're done. We also got Iron Curse Icon. We're gonna pardon captives. And let's get Wrath Muncher for that extra movement range. Moving out! No! Can we defend Corsell? Hopefully we can. It has a good garrison there. We are gonna move Carl France to Helmgard. Oh my god, okay. These guys are gonna be a pain to deal with. They are at war with Wizenland. Alright, Altdorf, what can we build here? Let's not build anything there yet. Let's just see if we can upgrade our settlements. Yes, let's upgrade uh, Brasky to level two. 
Can we do anything else though? Nope, we cannot. And we cannot upgrade this because we do not have enough money to do so. Valiant. All right, Kron. I will give you 136 points for the military access. No, I'm not going to give you that. In your dreams. Absolutely not. All right. So he's going to move to Black Pit and eventually to Arnau and destroy them. Uh, okay. Let's just end this turn. Oh my god. Okay, Emil von Corden has attacked us with one full stack and six more units in a different army. Okay, it's mostly trash and we probably can defend this. But in order to see what's gonna happen next in this battle, you have to tune in for the next video. And I hope you have indeed enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please let me know in the comments down below. And also don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content like this. If you want to see more content like this, please click on this video. This is Pizza Day Total War, and we'll catch you on the next one.